हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज एनिमल हजबेंड्री सेक्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लाइफ स्टॉक सेंसर्स डेयरी फार्मिंग फिशरीज एंड एक्वाकल्चर रोल इन सोशियो इकोनॉमिक लाइफ की इनिशिएटिव फॉर सेक्टर एनहेंसमेंट एंड चैलेंजेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक Animal husbandry is an integral part of Indian agriculture plays a pivotal role in the rural economy it involves the raising and breeding of livestock contributing significantly to the livelihoods of millions and forming a substantial part of India's gross domestic product that is GDP animal husbandry is the practice of rearing and breeding animals enhancing their genetic qualities for profit Now let's discuss about livestock census. The livestock population in India stood at 536.76 million, marking a 4.8 percent increase from the 2012 census. Distribution: 95.78 percent of the total livestock is in rural areas, that is 514.11 million, while 4.22 percent is in urban areas, that is 22.65 million. The total bovine population that is cattle buffalo mithun and yak increased to 303.76 million in 2019 that is a 1.3% rise from the previous census there was a 1.3% increase in the total cattle population reaching 193.46 million in 2019 exotic cross bred versus indigenous The exotic crossbred cattle population grew by 29.3% while the indigenous that is non-descript cattle population declined by 6%. However, indigenous or non-descript female cattle population increased by 10%. Now moving on to dairy farming in India. India is the largest milk producer globally with dairy farming forming the backbone of its animal husbandry sector. Ranging from small scale household farms to large dairy cooperatives the practice is diverse the sector has seen a surge in productivity due to improved breeding feeding and management practices fisheries and aquaculture india's long coast line and extensive river systems makes it a prime location for fisheries and aquaculture it's a significant source of food employment and foreign exchange in land and marine fisheries The sector includes both inland that is freshwater and marine fisheries. Inland fisheries focus on freshwater fish and aquaculture while marine fisheries deal with fish and seafood from the sea. Now let's have a look at its role in socio-economic life. Livestock acts as a source of secondary income especially for resource poor families. Cow and buffaloes provide regular income through milk sales. Animals like sheep and goats offer financial security in emergencies. Employment opportunities. A substantial number of people, particularly those who are less literate or unskilled, rely on animal husbandry for their livelihood. During off seasons in agriculture, livestock rearing becomes a primary source of employment. Food security. Products such as milk, meat and eggs derived from livestock are crucial in meeting the nutritional needs of the population. providing essential animal protein gender equity women play a significant role in the care and management of livestock contributing to gender equity in rural areas animal husbandry provides them with an avenue for economic participation and empowerment key initiatives for sector enhancement rashtriya gokul mission focused on breed improvement and promotion of artificial insemination National Digital Livestock Mission aims to enhance livestock productivity and quality support for cooperatives financial support to dairy cooperatives and farmer producer organizations dairy processing and infrastructure development fund creation and modernization of milk processing chilling and value addition infrastructure National Livestock Mission direct subsidies to individuals FPOs and others to establish poultry farms sheep and goat breed multiplication farms piggery farms and feed and fodder units and animal husbandry infrastructure development fund incentivizing investments for dairy and meat processing animal feed plants and breed improvement technology now lastly moving on to challenges and way forward 
Despite its growth, the dairy sector faces challenges like the need for better veterinary care, quality feed and sustainable practices. There is a significant opportunity for growth and modernization in dairy farming, ensuring better income for farmers and quality products for consumers. Fishing and aquaculture sector faces challenges like overfishing, habitat destruction and the need for conservation measures. Disease management, strengthening disease control measures is crucial. Infrastructure upgrade, modernization of livestock farms and dairy units is needed. Skilled personnel, addressing the shortage of skilled manpower in veterinary services. Feed and fodder quality, improving the availability and quality of feed and fodder. And financial support, enhancing access to credit and... Now moving on to practice questions. First of all, prelims based question. Consider the following animal husbandry practices in India. 1. Rearing of gear cows. 2. Breeding of poultry. 3. Cultivation of prawns in coastal areas. Which of the above is or are categorized under livestock farming? 1 only, 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only or 1, 2 and 3. And now mains question. Analyze the impact of modern dairy farming technologies on traditional animal husbandry practices in India. Discuss the measures required to balance technological advancement with the preservation of traditional knowledge in this sector. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.